Yo, this is Benji from the band called Skin Dread, and you're listening to Radio Cardiff with my main man, Morgan, motherfucking Richards. Hi. Hey, I'm Morgan Richards from Radio Cardiff from 9.7 FM, and I'm very pleased to say that I'm backstage at the Globe Music Venue here in Cardiff, and I'm rejoined by a band that can only be described as those unique reggae metal giants who love to tear up and kill the power live whenever they can. From Newport, South Wales, it's of course the phenomenal Mr. Benji Webb of Skin Dread. Yo, what's going on, brother? Hey, Benji, you alright? Yeah, man, fantastic. I'm brilliant. How's things? We've been busy on the road for the last three weeks. We went over to Europe, sold out a bunch of dates. Club shows like four, five, six hundred capacities, but they all been sold out went to Hungary went to Poland which was freezing we went to um, France went to Spain for the first time and sold out three dates which is really cool yeah so things running up and up the UK dates have been fantastic you know selling the clubs out in, in advance and stuff yeah so we're on a roll it's going really well okay awesome well, brilliant so uh, Benji the last time I caught up with you guys was with Dan when you played a fantastic homecoming show in Newport Centre back in March after the incredible release of your fifth full length studio record Kill the Power at the beginning of the year and really since then you guys as you mentioned have travelled the globe non-stop up, bringing the reggae metal to anyone wanting to hear it and I'm sure it's just been a brilliant hitting everywhere playing shows of most successful record you guys have released to date yeah man it's just been phenomenal you know we, we're a hard working band you know we don't care where we play we play like I said the capacity that the globe is like 300 we don't mind that whenever people want to rock that's what we take it simple mm. yeah okay well, awesome and uh, as a spectator, if I had to sum up the year you guys have had in two words, it would really be big shows. Because as I mentioned, you guys have basically been everywhere these last few months, playing some beautiful venues with the likes of two European tours, a heap of shows in Japan, Australia, and much more with a very busy summer of festivals as well. But now, just recently, you've been on a special and intimate run of shows across the UK to top the year off, being a very long time since you've done a tour like this. It must be really refreshing vibe to get back to playing these tight, compressed, in-your-face venues, getting sweated up close and personal with the crowd. Yeah, it's, it's like we, we play anywhere, bro. You know, it's like we'll play anywhere from like Cardiff Ham's Pack to like, you know, whatever they, wherever they'll put us, we'll play a pub up flipping Merthyr Tidville. We don't care, bro. We just love to play. We love to see people enjoy themselves. We know that the spirit that the band produces brings an energy of enjoyment and, and laughter and, you know, a merriment, you know. Skin Dread is definitely about all them things. Oh, great to hear. And as I mentioned, all this great year of touring has come off the back of your fifth full length studio record, Kill the Power, back at the start of 2014. And it really show that you guys having honing in all your different different elements and roots from metal and reggae to hip-hop, drum and bass, techno dub. Anything! <laughs> we do anything. And everything else in between on almost every track, bringing a lot more sharper and flowing sound out record than any of your previous material in the past. But with that, I actually understand that you guys have just started writing album number six and going to be focusing on that right now until the end of the year and leading up to 2015. Yeah, we, uh, we've been in the studio. We was in the studio for, uh, for four weeks in Bristol. We got a little rehearsal space in mm. Bristol that we like to go to. Uh, we spent a month in there right then and it was very productive. We come up with some killer vibes. I I really believe that what we're writing now is going to surpass Kill the mm. Power. I really do. And now, without like the pressure of record labels trying to get singles out of us, because we've just signed a new deal with a record label called Napalm, and it's got some heavy bands on there like Sword, Devil Driver, you know, so we're in good company. But with the last record, we were sort of pressured into having to find a radio hit. I hate radio hits. I don't think, I don't even think that should even be a word to musicians. But as you know, as the time is, so we, we got that pressure off us. We spent a month in the rehearsal space. We're going to go back and spend another two months, and then we're going to record the album. And try to get the album out for the beginning of summer. Okay. You know, no names yet, but the songs are sounding kick ass. So, even more new music from Skin Dread. Yeah. Soon. I mean, this is, the, you know, as a live act now, it's none of this like two years on the road touring an album stuff. We just get the deals, get them signed, get in the studio, get the records out there. For me, a record is no longer something that I'm hoping to get a royalty check off. A record for me is an audio flyer. You know, it's just something which people can hear and go, wow, I like that song. I want to see it live. And hopefully, our live reputation, when people come, they get hooked on the, on the sound, you know? Awesome. And uh, even though, as you mentioned, it it is early days with the record, but with the vibes already coming together for the next album, can we expect it to follow on from Kill the Power? So our, our, our basic foundation of any of our songs is Jamaican reggae music, punk rock, and heavy metal, and then like the drum and bass or the drum step or whatever that comes later. Mm. But our foundation of every song is, by any means necessary, you know, we want to get you rocking, okay. we want to get you bouncing. You know, I love it when people are, like when I got friends of mine and they said they they come to see us and they've only listened to metal all their life or they've only listened to reggae, and when they come to see us, we're like a bridge building band you know I got people who say to me all the time that they've only listened to a certain type of music but after coming to a Skin Dread concert it sort of opens them up to embrace other things you know and I think that's what music should do for people and uh, as we've mentioned you guys writing I've heard a few things recently that you guys have been working on a special collaboration with the dubstep rock titans in mode step over the last year yeah we did it we, yeah we did one song with them guys um, in the summer it should be out. it's coming out on their album I think the song I can't remember the name of the song but I think it's called circles or something like that but yeah it was really good fun okay. working with them kids you know they, they know what they're doing and they, they got a great live sound you know they just wanted for my energy to go on their record
record and yeah, we, I recorded one song with them, so that should be out real soon too. Okay, well, awesome. And lately, working with other acts is something that you guys very much enjoy doing, especially on the last two records. We had Pop Roaches, Jacob Shaddix, mm -hmm. and female vocalist Jenna G featuring on tracks. But Benji, you always seem to be writing with other acts too, because I know just lately you've worked with the Dirty Youth on bits yeah. on their new record. Yeah, yeah, they came to me and I helped them out with some parts. Yeah, I've been I've been working quite a lot this year, more than ever, ever before. I'm a good friend with Robert Trujillo from Metallica, mm. and we got a side project called Mass Mental, and we did a show in San Francisco about two months ago. And that was that was phenomenal. You know, to be on stage with like Kirk Amit and Robert Trujillo <laughs> and Stephen Perkins from Jane's Addiction playing drums and Puffy from Faith No More. You know, these are guys who, you know, even though as a singer or a skin dreader, we're not as known as them bands, but they seem to identify mm. the, the power in, in my voice. And when they're doing something like that, they call me over to, to jam with them, which is great. You know, pay my ticket, feed me. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, fantastic. And with working with so many different artists, is that something we can expect now more often? Yeah, I think the, the next record should have a few more artists on there. We haven't shows them yet but there's some some ideas knocking around we always ask Corey Taylor from Slipknot mm. to do something but he always fucks us off and says no <laughs> I don't know but I'm sure there's going to be some yeah. some um, collaborations on the next Skin Dread album oh okay well, awesome and hopefully maybe when Corey Taylor's free one day fuck him I don't even want him to do it anymore <laughs> <laughs> oh brilliant and with 2015 now right around the corner you guys are going to be hitting next year off in style being a part of an incredible tour supporting the naughty heavy hair metal the troublemakers in Steel Panther across yeah. the UK in a arenas in March. I bet you guys are super excited to be teeing up with them for a very different and one-of-a-kind tour. Yeah, yeah. Um, Steel Panther, we met them a, a while back now, but like we like to have a lot of fun on stage with the audience, you know, so I think it's going to be one of them very metal, very comedic mm. shows, you know. It's going to be great. Putting on the full set, we're putting out no stops for this one, so it's going to be good. Oh, awesome. And I actually remember when that tour got announced and so many people were going absolutely insane and mm -hmm. just such amazing Yeah, yeah. Lineup. It's funny because the, the shows are selling out. I mean, I think we sold like six and a half thousand tickets to Wembley now mm. you know so by match i think it'll be it'll be sold out so it's just it's growing really well i'm just looking forward to getting on stage again <laughs> in an arena apart mm. from a pub the good thing about playing in arenas you can actually breathe on stage <laughs> you know when you play these small venues you just can't breathe and you can't really perform but the people dig it anyway and then now benji just a couple more things before you go of course as i mentioned with 2015 now being right around the corner a lot of the festivals have started to announce we, we, like... we got some big festivals next summer that's yeah. all i'm saying i can't say nothing right now you know this silly little game that people like to play of don't course. say nothing can't say nothing but we got some nice nice slots and some mm. big festivals this summer in the uk okay. so you know bring your new board helicopters and let's get it on <laughs> well brilliant because the last year you guys put on a very brilliant show at the main stage of download festival yeah that was good gained fun. a lot of fans for that as well well that's it it was funny because someone said to me that we was on i think we were on about two two o'clock and the band that was on before us played in front of like ten thousand people and by the time we got on it was like forty thousand people in front of the stage and after we played like thirty thousand people left so that was really cool to know that you know we're building a fan base you know we ain't got the hype of the magazines and the tv and this bullshit but what we have got is a solid fan base building and people are realizing that skin dread are a force to be reckoned with when it mm. comes to life we are bringing something different something fresh and something positive to the world even though we've been going like 15 14 years it don't mean shit. Well, what's important is are you delivering no matter how old the person is or how old they are if they're good they're good you can't mm. take that away from them simple things great thing to hear yeah, man. and uh, with all that now can we expect anything else from skin dreads in the near future i or? think you just spoke a lot about <laughs> a lot going on that's a lot in the future like i said we got albums we got big tours going on we're playing some big festivals there's a lot going on bro there's a lot going on so just more shows and more music to come it's then. always bro that's that's what a band's about a band mm. is about live and a band is about making people forget the boat in the world for 20 minutes at least you know and that's what we do best and that's what we're going to do until such time okay well perfect well uh, that's about it cheers benji for taking time out to have a chat with me no problem obviously good luck now with the rest of the tour and okay. everything in 2015 and hopefully thank you very I can much. catch with you guys again very yeah soon. yeah sure sure okay. well thanks for being interested